Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com. So today we're gonna to be learning how to make a silk background texture from scratch inside of Photoshop. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new document. We'll go to File, New. And our settings will be for this project 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels, 72 resolution, RGB color. And we have a white background. We'll click Create. Inside of our fresh document, we'll be working with the gradient tool. And the gradient tool, if it's not showing, is right under your paint bucket tool. Once you have that selected, you're going to get all of these options up here. To begin, we're going to be working with the very first option here, the black to white. We're going to be using this linear gradient tool, the very first one. Our mode to begin with is going to be normal, opacity 100. Okay, so once you have your mode and your gradient selected, you'll come to the canvas and just right outside the canvas, you'll uh, take it across all the way to the other side. Once you have this initial gradient, we're going to move to a difference. This is going to allow you to create smaller gradients within your canvas. So we'll start here at this uh, part of the canvas and move in and then come in. And I always start um, in the darkest areas and then take it out. I find that this is what works best for me. Uh, I am looking to get a very dark gradient to light and specifically I'm looking for this very very white line inside of my gradient that's going to be the sheen or the shiny part of the fabric. So I've got three ripples that I've just created. I'm going to take it across the entire canvas again to create some more. Now I want to get some variation here so I'm going to take a diagonal and you can keep working with this. Uh, if you don't like something, just undo it. Uh, Command or Control Z will undo it for you. I'm going to go ahead and leave it just as it is. And with this set, we're going to go into Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to set the blur pretty high up to, let's say, about 10 is okay. At this point we have only one layer. You can unlock it here just by clicking on the little lock button. We'll go to filter again. This time we're going to uh, use the stylize filter and find edges. Now it's going to give us a very light color, barely visible, so we're going to adjust the levels on this. We'll go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels, or Control or Command L on your keyboard. And we're going to take the slider down just so that we can see those lines. And you don't want to take it too far down because you start to get a lot of banding in there. Okay, we'll leave it there. And then we'll go back to Filter, Blur. Gaussian blur and we're going to add just a small blur to get rid of the banding there. I know it's still very light so we're going to add another adjustment layer to this. Go to image, adjustment and curves this time just to darken the look of this. And you can play with this until you get something that has a good color and contrast to it. Click OK. We still have a lot of banding here. We'll work with that here in a minute. And from here, uh, we're going to go into Filter, Liquify, and we're going to work with this just a little bit more. Um, I don't like that these are so crisp. So I'm going to move them out, uh, maybe creating puddles of fabric. 
something like that. Now this can take some time, but uh, play with it until you have something that you're happy with. Okay, so once you've spread it all out, um, the, what you're going for is trying to create something that resembles puddles of fabric. Now we still have a lot of this banding here, so I'm going to pull some of this out just to get rid of that. And it's not going to go away completely, so we can add another uh, adjustment layer if we need to. Okay, so I think I am happy with this. Of course, if you um, want a little more motion, you can increase the size of your brush, maybe make it the same size as the canvas and move them, move your um, design over. Okay, so I'm happy with the way this looks. I'm going to click OK. Now I've got my initial texture. I'm going to go back in and do another blur just to get rid of some of the banding that we've created there. So you come into Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and that looks good to me. Now, if you're still not happy with the definition of this, you can add a second layer. You can hold down your Alt or Option button, grab the layer, and duplicate it this way just by pulling it down. Or you can right-click the layer and then choose Duplicate Layer here. So with our copy selected, I'm going to add another filter. We'll go to Filter, Other, and High Pass. This is just going to give us a little more definition. We'll just adjust this. Now I'm just looking to get these top sections, so I'm going to click OK. And with that top layer selected, I am going to change the blending mode to linear light. Now at this point it may look a little too bright so we're going to bring down the opacity quite a bit to something around 15 percent and you'll be able to see the the difference that it makes in the definition. So this is just a preference and um, you, you don't have to take this step if you're happy with the definition of your image, um, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and grab both layers together and then I'm going to merge them. Okay, with this, uh, now we're going to go ahead and add some color. So he, I'm here in the Layers panel. Down at the bottom, I'm going to choose Hue and Saturation. And then make sure to click on Colorize there. And then just slide the Hue layer to any color that you like. And I'm going to keep mine right about here. Maybe darken it up a little bit. Okay, so creating a pattern like this, it does take some work in the beginning. Um, you do have to make a lot of adjustments to where you want the fabric to lay. Um, and think about things like like that. Uh, but once you have them, changing the color is uh, very easy and they're easily adjustable. You can always go back into the liquify uh, panel and change this up. Say you don't like certain areas, um, maybe this banding is just too much for you. You can definitely go in back into liquify or make adjustments to the fabric. 
So although it does take some time, it is completely workable and changeable uh, and easy to work with. So if you do create marketing materials or designs focused around romantic themes, then definitely um, this is going to be for you. I'm also going to be creating a 10 pack of silk background patterns uh, that you can get for free on my website at prettywebs.com. So if uh, creating this pattern is not for you, you can definitely pick those up as well. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more design tips for business owners. And don't forget to head over to my website at prettywebs.com for even more tips, resources, and free graphics. Until next time, thanks for watching.